In 1992, the moose population in the park was measured to be 4,650. By 1999, the population was measured to be uh, 6,610. If the population continues to change linearly, find the formula for P population as a function of T the years since 1990. See, uh, linear functions have a predictive power because if you have two data and you need to know what's going to happen the next, you can just connect it as a line and you can figure out the value afterwards, right? So that's why linear functions are so useful in business or in like trying to preserve a park. It's also pretty important. Uh, now you might wonder, does it really work like a line? Well, in truth, it doesn't. In truth, if you look at the population growth of some, some things, if it's an increasing trend, if there's no like predator or, or uh, adverse effects like uh, uh, forest fires or something like that, then the way that a population grows is, is something like a, an S-curve. This, this thing is called the uh, logistic curve. And what happens is that there's like a upper bound to the population. You can't have the population growing like without limit because, I mean, if you have more moose, they're all gonna graze grass and there's not enough grass to feed them, so there, there will be some upper limit to it, right? Uh, however, there is indeed a portion, like right here, that it looks like a line equation, a pretty big portion too. So if you are kind of confident that the limit is kind of far away and you're somewhere in the middle and you know that the previous population was <coughs> 4,650 and the next one was 6,610, then you can kind of connect this with the linear function to kind of have a good prediction of what's going to happen. And it's going to be correct up till some part. So it is indeed useful. In fact, like there's a linear regression function in Excel and uh, people doing business uh, the first thing that they, they do after having a bunch of data, uh, what, what are they going to do? They would just click the linear regression, put, plot it on the graph, and see what's going to happen. So it is very useful. OK, uh, so now let's, let's actually get to solve this. Uh, we already had an example where you know the two values of the data, and then uh, you were able to figure out the function value, right? Uh, so really. Although you see a lot of words here, the only thing that you need is the setup that looks like your previous question. Okay. Um, so wh what was the setup of the previous question? We had two data, right? Uh, but here's a little twist here. Uh, the fu it's, it's not a function of x, it's a function of t. And the function is not f, it's p. Right? Uh, so you, you have to be a little more careful with that. And there's one more. Another thing is, it's the year since 1990. Okay. So what you think is the t value is not, not the t value. t is not 1992. What's the actual value of t here? Two. Because 1992 is two years after 1990, right? So this really says, this really says right here, T is equal to 2. How about this one? What's that? T equals to 9. OK, now with, these, with this information, let's see if you figured out what the data should be. P of 2 is equal to what? P of 2 is? 650, right? 4,650. P of 9 is? Uh, 6,610. All right. So we, we know how to do it, right? We've done this, so we can do it. So let's just erase everything. Okay. When you feel confident that you've gotten all the information, 
and change it to equation, and you can just forget about the work problem. All right, let's try to apply what we knew before. It's uh, y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. This is the format we're gonna solve. Uh, one thing that you have to be careful is later on, x should be replaced by t because it said the values that we use for x, the input is t, not x, okay? And also later on, y will not be replaced by f of x, but it will be replaced by p or better, it will be re replaced by P of T. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that later. All we have to do right now is just uh, figure out what X and Y are. So it, from this one is two comma four six five zero. And this one is nine comma six six <coughs> one zero. And we have to find the slope M, which is change of Y over change of X, which is it's always terminal value minus the initial value. So terminal value of y is 6610. Initial value is 4650. Divided by the terminal value of x is 9. Initial value is 2. Let's see, what's that? That's uh, 4091940 over 7, uh, which is, well, I'll, I'll need a calculator for this, but that's okay. Uh, 1454 uh, 277.14 okay yeah, something like that right? well let's just say 277.1 we have to cut it off somewhere okay so that's what we get for for the slope. I think it's 1960 instead of 40. Yeah, 1960. Ah, I messed up, sorry. Oh, then, then it's, uh, it's 40, yeah. Then, then it will be 286. Thank you, right. Okay, so we have that, and then we plug everything in here. You get uh, y minus 4650. We decide to call this one as x1, that as y1, right? equals to m, which is 280, times x minus uh, 2. Okay. Multiply 280x minus 560, y minus 4650, add 4650, <coughs> and you get y equals to 280, 4090, right? Yeah. Yeah. x plus 4090. Okay, so we are almost there. Yeah. But it'll be sad if we can't write the answer right after this. It'll be like a runner running up to the finish line and then <coughs> saying, oh, I'm, I'm having hard time. It's not good. All right, so what did we decide? Uh, X should be what? Replaced by? <coughs> T. <coughs> How about Y? P. P. Okay, so this is fine, but I think the better way to write the answer would be P of T. P of T. Because P is a function of T, right? If you put parenthesis, a, a, a variable that means p is a function where you plug in the value for t. And that's given by this. So that will be our final answer. So would you would you do 280 x or keep it as t? Hmm? Would you keep it as t? 280? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to use t because the question was asking for the variable to be t. Okay. Name to be t. Um, now in word problems, you also have to think about units. So I think uh, if you were to include units, then it should be 280p plus 4090 moves. It's, what's the plural of moves? Mice? Mice. Mice. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's, let's just stop here.